Good evening. Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends of the American Turkish Society, uh, we are very happy to welcome you here on behalf of the American Turkish Society's Board of Directors and all our members across America. I'm Murat Köprülü. And tonight has been a special, special day, physically and emotionally. There'll be a little bit more about that in a little bit. We are honoring two incredible personalities, I will say, extremely successful entrepreneurial individuals in a technology field. There'll be more to say about that. We have become very blessed by the love and respect that you have shown to us. Several months ago, some of our board members were shaking their heads and saying, with all the negative press on Turkey, how are you going to actually have a gala? Are you crazy? And the actual reality is, well, we're, we've been here for 68 years. I mean, let's think about that for one moment. How many 68-year-old nonprofit institutions do you know? Not even in America. I mean, forget about Europe or the rest of the world. How many 68-year-old corporations do we know? Let's think about that. So we are blessed for having something that's quite extraordinary here. And all of you, having shown this respect, give us the love that we will take to another level. We are always trying to reinvent ourselves. We've become a kind of a preeminent gala for the Turkish American community, not only in the United States, but the entire world. Is there anything like this in Berlin? Is there anything like this in Paris? Is there anything like this in London? There isn't. It's the sad fact of the matter. And somehow, 40, in 1949, a couple of Turks and a couple of Americans came together and they said, let's do this. And in a country, when you think about it, in a country that was looking so inward after a devastating world war that had no interest in anything outside of America, that was a country of immigrants, yes, but it was just coming into its own as a nation united after a devastating war. And here we are, we're Turkish immigrants, in America, where immigrants has a funny notion these days. Interestingly enough, uh, we've been very blessed by having um, honorees and uh, dinner chairs that have been extraordinary individuals. I was uh, able to be with my chairman, Ahmed Ertegun, may he rest in peace, in 2003, we created our first gala, which was um, basically to memorialize the first American Turkish corporation in Turkey, Ford Autosan, and our honorees were Bill Ford, CEO of Ford Motor, and may he rest in peace, Allah rahmet eylesin, Mustafa Koç, CEO of Koç Holding. Since then, we've had amazing experiences, amazing people coming to this venue, to, to this city, to celebrate with us the American Turkish finds. One of our dinner chairs happened to be in 2012, a president of the United States. You might say who? Well, interestingly enough, in 2012, we honored the 10 year anniversary of CNN Turk between Time Warner, CNN, and Doan Holding. And who was our dinner chair? a man named Donald Trump. Donald Trump came up to the podium, to the stage with Ivanka, and he introduced uh, Arzu Handoğan Yalçımda, our honoree that year, together with Phil Kent, the CEO at, uh, at CNN. And that was the famous time, you might remember, there was the uh, New York Times article that talks about how apparently the president spoke uh, highly about the new fellow who runs CNN now. We have been very blessed by all of this, and today we are honoring two individuals that, again, you will hear more about. I want to also be um, very thankful to our new executive director, John Set Batabai, and her staff. 
And, and it, there's a volunteer army around you buzzing upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. Thank you all of them, to all of them. I want to also do a shout out to uh, our two um, uh, board members, uh, Umid Taftala and uh, Haluk Dinsher, who couldn't be here today but donated their uh, tables to uh, young Turkish American students who are here with us today. Quite a number of them who won their seats via lottery. Think about this. I mean, there's a first, again, created by the American Turkish Society. Uh, I'm sure there will be more board members doing this in the future. Um, I would like to now invite our Vice Chairman Larry Kay up to the podium with a message. 